Where are the tear glands? So the main tear glands that people think of are the lacrimal glands. Those sit in the upper outer corners of the eyes. And then they wash the eye. And then tears bathe the cornea, they bathe the eye, and uh -huh. they exit toward the middle and then into the nose, essentially, through a duct. So the duct is, goes from the eye into the nose, those, those main ducts. Correct. So if there's something going wrong there, uh, what goes wrong with the eye ducts, with sure. the drainage area? The, the most common problems we see are that over time, those can get blocked up. And that could be just a normal change over time for some individuals, or it could be the result of either infections or other inflammatory processes. The end result, if there's a blockage, usually anywhere through the tear duct, is going to be tearing. And this is not the type of tearing typically where your eyes get a little watery. This is where tears are really pouring down, pouring down. your cheek. Yeah, and usually one side? It, it's usually one side, although a lot of people do have bilateral as well. So you got a little, you've got a little duct there <laughs> that's blocked, and so the tears can't go down, so they come out on the face. How do you unplug that duct? Mm -hmm. The most common level of age-related change and blockage of the tear duct is at the junction between the sac where tears collect next to the nose and in the duct that actually travels through the nose. The usual place to fix that, or the usual surgery to fix that, I should say, is what we call a DCR. That's dacryocystorhinostomy. Uh, that's so, a big long word. Fancy word for basically doing some plumbing. <laughs> plumbing on that very important duct. Plumbing on that duct. So what we're doing is basically bypassing drainage through that duct into another route through the nose. And that can either be done with an external excision on the skin or through the nose in what we call an endoscopic DCR.